The Iron Bowl, coined after the historic impact Alabama had on the steel industry, is a series that is currently one of the greatest and hardest fought rivalries in all of sports. Everyone in the state of Alabama stops to partake in the rivalry game and now, after proving to be one of the most exciting annual games in college football, everyone in the entire nation stops to watch these two battle it out on the gridiron. Alabama has brought home 23 SEC titles and Auburn has earned 8 SEC titles, totaling together at 31 titles. One of the two teams has been seen in college football championship every year for the last five years. This has put these two teams amongst the highest winning teams in all of the country. Auburn and Alabama went to head-to-head -head for the first time on February 22, 1893. Auburn won the inaugural game 32-22 in front of a crowd of approximately 5,000 people. Tensions really began to grow in the early 90s when Auburn's head coach Mike Donahue canceled the series because he claimed that Alabama's head coach Doc Pollard kept moving the amount of money paid for the players. The two coaches also couldn't agree on where the officials for the game would be selected. It took over 41 years without rivalry games to finally settle on an agreement. They continued the rivalry in 1948, and Alabama squashed the Tigers 55-0. to After that, these two were to see each other every single year leading up to the game on Thursday. You never know what will happen in the Iron Bowl. Remember the time of Auburn running back Bo Johnson. In 1982, he ran the length of the field, leaping over the Alabama defensive line and scored a touchdown with only two minutes left of the game for an Auburn victory of 23-22. Then we see him again in 1984 in a totally different form. It was the final seconds of the game. Auburn had the ball at the fourth and goal from the one yard line and were trailing 17 to 15. The Auburn head coach that year, Pat Dye, decided to go for a touchdown instead of the field goal. The ball was, the ball was snapped and then pitched to the running back, Brent Fullwood. But then fate happened and Bo ran in the wrong direction, forcing Fullwood out of bounds, finishing with Alabama as the winner 17 to 15. Those are the kinds of surprises that have followed these teams all the way to this year's game. Just last year, the entire nation was shocked as undefeated Alabama fell to the Tigers after what can only be described as an Auburn miracle. Alabama head coach Nick Saban decided to put a freshman kicker in the game with one second on the clock to kick a 57-yard field goal. Poor kid. His kick attempt fell short and into the hands of Auburn's Chris Davis nine yards deep into the Auburn field goal zone. Chris Davis then ran the ball back 109 yards for the Auburn win, 34-28. That kind of thing only happens in fairy tales and rivalry games. During the ESPYs, the game was awarded Game of the Year and Final Play of the Year. Auburn may not have won the championship game against FSU that year, but it certainly felt like it after a win like that against their most hated enemy. We can depend on one thing in their face-off on Saturday, it will be one of the best games of the rivalry matchups. The rest is fate. Be sure to check in with our handicappers and college football pros later today and all week long for game breakdown and analysis to help you take the win on the rivalry games. For SportsbookReview.com, this is Megan Rochester. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.